All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see, uh, you know, there is a wife and husband, they were in the field. And, uh, you know, the wife, you know, according to Islam, women are always bad, you know. So the wife, she say things which is not right. The husband, he have to rebuke her. As usual so he said to her uh, fear Allah women he is real this woman she answered back and she said is he real like us hmm all right so today what we will do we will open our Skype and we would like to see if there is any Mohammedan can give us really any sign, any proof that Allah is real. You know, if you go in the internet and search for such a topic, you will find hilarious answers. Like, the Muslim, they say Allah is real because Allah said so. <laughs> I mean, that's really good. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Like this is there is the article here. It says Allah is the one and true God, only true God in Islam. Okay, how? We go down. We will find. It says here, who is Allah? Say, He is Allah. <laughs> so who is Allah? Say He is Allah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer you know who you know who can uh, who can really make such a strong statement save Allah I mean look at this strong language firm answer intelligent this is this is gonna be from this earth this is must be from Mars or somewhere so who is Allah this question is best answered by the Creator Himself. Oh, say He is Allah. <laughs> and then He says, uh, The eternal refuge. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? He neither begots nor is born. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. He neither begot nor is born. Is that supposed to refute the Christians? Mm -hmm. But the angels never be God, nor they are born. Hey Muslims, is the angels, do the angels have kids? Are they born? Any Muhammadan can help us? My Skype is open, by the way. Is the angels of Allah do they get married and have sex and have children? Are they born? So if Allah trying to make himself unique, he failed. He failed to give us a definition because according to Islam, all the angels of Allah they, they don't be God and they are not born. Nor there is to him any equiv equivalent. Okay, if there is anyone equiv equivalent to Jibreel Muslims? If there is anyone equivalent to, uh, to me? Every, every person, there is nobody is the same. We are unique, even our fingerprints is different. So still until now, we did not understand who is Allah. And then the Muhammadan, they make a, a look at this chat here. Look, the only religion who put a finger up to Allah is the Muslims. Want to convert to Islam? I think this is the same website. I, I chat with them before and I asked them, uh, why Prophet Muhammad kissed the black stone? It took them five minutes to answer, and they said to me, Because it's holy. 
And then I said, why it's holy? They said, because the prophet said. <laughs> so chapter 112 in the Quran was revealed in early days of Islam. Okay, hold on. How it is a chapter 112 and revealed in the early days of Islam. <laughs> when the Quran is 114 chapters. <laughs> And this is telling us how how much Islam is really, you know, um, he is unsure in the Bible. He says he is unsure. Ah, uh, he's unsure. Yeah, my friend, if you want to talk about insure, we can say we can uh, call me and let us see who is unsure. Jesus, he said to many, "Go on, your sin is forgiven. It's your God who say, may Allah forgive you." So who is the one is unsure? Huh? Is Allah sure he can forgive sin? If he is sure, why he is saying, may Allah forgive you? Allah talking to different Allah. If you Muslims have one Allah, then you should not say a, such a statement. That Allah, who is talking Allah? Okay. Allah saying, that Allah may forgive your sin, Muhammad. Allah saying, may to who? Mr. Ensure. Are you there, Mr. Ensure? Your name is Seba Batuhu. I don't know, your name is not sure how to read it. So now, I am not sure how to read your name. So how sure are you about your Allah? Can Allah really forgive sin? Or he is asking other God to forgive how many Allah there? If Allah is the one is talking, how Allah he say, may Allah forgive your sin? Look at this. Allah is making a wish, a birthday wish. Muhammad, he said to Allah, what do you have a wish, Allah? He says, yes. May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. It sounds like a funeral wish, you know. Are you with me, my friend? If I type in the Quran the word Asa, I know that you're an ignorant like your prophet, do not know what that word means. Asa mean maybe, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Look how many times. <laughs> Chapter 4, verse number 84. Then fight in the cause of Allah, though art he held responsible only for their self, and rose the believer. It may be that Allah will restrain the fury of the enemy. Maybe he's not sure. The one who made this verse, obviously, he is not sure he will win or will lose. If Allah is God, he will not say maybe. May Allah punish me. Okay, guys, he's here we go. He answered me now. This guy, he act like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, he claimed, as Muhammad told him, that the hudhud is the minister of irrigation. And he can find water under the ground. So a Muslim guy, he said to him, Ibn Abbas, stop. I got you busted. How this bird can see what is under the ground Yet a little kid can put some trap, some seed in the trap, and we can capture the bird if he can see what is under the dirt. We put the trap, we cover it by dirt, we put the seed in the top, the bird come, and we capture the bird. So how this bird can see under the ground, yet he cannot see what is under little dirt. What Ibn Abbas said to him, May Allah destroy you. May Allah make you blind. May Allah curse you. May Allah make you shish kebab and you are doing the same. <laughs> My friend, you can say may Allah as much as you wish. As you see, do you remember what it says here in this picture? Fear Allah, women, he is real. The hey toy said, is he real like us? I mean, you Muslims, you keep praying for nobody. 
What is your prayer goal? Hmm? If any Muslim have the courage to answer us, feel free. So as you see, the Muslims, when you ask them who is Allah, they don't even know who is Allah. They say to you, is God. But yet Muhammad never spoke to his God. So how we can be sure that Muhammad even he present God? There is tons of evidence that Muhammad is mentally ill. And we can prove it in two seconds. It doesn't even take two seconds. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? I never sort of heard of a God. He's saying maybe. Allah is talking. Look. Maybe Allah will forgive them. Aren't you Allah? And look at the translation here. It says, "Asa Allahu an yafwa anhum." May Allah will forgive them. But who's talking? Translation is false. Change the translator. Who is this guy? Yusuf Ali. Let us use uh, Hilali Khan, it's just for a laugh. Maybe. Maybe may Allah. Forgive them, brother. Hmm. There is hope. <laughs> Look at the translation. Yeah, so the Quran is full of maybe, and uh, you know, anything Muhammad he think he might get busted, it might not happen. He say maybe. Chapter 7, verse 185, Allah says, Maybe their uh, their time is up. Maybe. Okay. Isn't you the God who know the unseen, you know the future? Even you are the one who decide if they will live or, or die. You do not know if maybe they will their end is coming. It may be. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Maybe anyone? Any half one? Hmm. Any Muhammadan, may they, may they? Maybe a Muslim can tell us how God, he don't know if their time is up or not. This is God. And Muhammad suppose he's a prophet. Well, cannot he prophesy, Allah tell him, their time is up. But Allah himself is saying, maybe, maybe their time is up. Because he didn't know. Right? Jesus cannot be God? Okay, you know, whatever you say, my friend. <clears throat> uh, the, the funny is, you ask the Muslims, if we ask the Muslims what Allah can do more than Jesus, uh, nothing. Okay, can Allah do anything like Jesus? No. Can Allah make a blind sea? No. Can Allah make some? If if yes, if yes, well, Muhammad was sick. Muhammad himself was sick, and he died suffering from sickness for years. According to Muslims, it took him four years to die. He cannot even move his legs. So if Allah is the God, well, he cannot do what Jesus can do. The Quran witnessed that Jesus, he healed everybody. He can make a dead come from the ground. The Quran says so. Will Muhammad in the ground? Can Allah resurrect him? The Muslims, they say that Jesus has been taken by Allah to the sky 
so nobody can kill him okay why he allow Muhammad to be killed what is the wisdom of that especially Muhammad is the most beloved to Allah the most beloved to Allah is dust and the one who is not most beloved to Allah is with Allah now so this is the fiction of Muhammad trying to replace Jesus by himself that's why he called himself Muhammad he, Muhammad mean the praised one Muhammad the message of Muhammad is to replace Jesus by himself you know there is a there is a fake uh, Christ or someone he claimed to be Christ somehow his name is a prophet Manny and if you read some about prophet Manny you will find tons of stories of Muhammad is coming from there which make you suspect that prophet Manny and Muhammad is the same person somehow let us open some this is a prophet Manny he's a false man claiming to replace the Messiah and he have a very similar stories like Muhammad as an example visiting the heaven overnight there is tons of stories very similar with Islam and then we will find that all these stories written by this person or about this person suddenly they become the stories about Muhammad Muhammad is even a thief in everything he is trying to take even the character of Manny and this man by the way he was able to accomplish a big huge number of followers Do we have any Muhammadan? And if you can, if you want, you can go and do a little search about this man, Manny. Uh, this is how you pronounce his name. You see in the screen. Search him. But there is people until now believe in him. By the way, I believe there is a temple in USA for many do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad is a prophet and how Allah is God is he real every verse in the Quran prove to us that Allah cannot be real because this statement is not even a statement of somebody have little maturity it's just you know a teenage it's not even a kid in one hand the Muslim they say that Allah is the one who knows how long you will live actually he is the one who decides you will how long you will live and then when you talk about the enemy of Allah Allah himself he says maybe their end is near maybe Any Muhammadan would like to call us? If you read actually just two verses after, uh, one verse after, it says here, and this is the Muslim translation, just to show you how even they deceive, to such as Allah reject from his guidance, there is no, there is, there, there can be no guide. He will leave them for trespasses wandering in destruction but this is not what Arabic says in Arabic it says Man Allah, the one who Allah deceive no guidance for him hold on let us let us change the translator <clears throat> this is Yusuf Ali we will use uh, which one will you use Victor let us use Victor just you know, Shakir, Shakir, let's see Shakir. 
Look at this. We just changed the translator. We have different uh, translation. Whom's ever Allah cause err. But deception is not err. However, I will go with the translation. Okay, why Allah will cause you to err and then Allah will be angry from you for erring? <laughs> I mean, guys, have you ever heard of stupid things like this? So Allah, he calls you to err and then Allah will punish you because you err. <laughs> What the, what the heck is that? <laughs> and uh, and they asked Muhammad, you know, I mean, the translation, by the way, is hilarious. Yudlil, anyone who speaks Arabic, you know, Dallat Tariq means he lost his way. You know, Yudlil is an act, is a verb. I am deceiving you. I'm making you lost. So there's, it's not an incident happened like, you know, by mistake, I took the wrong exit. No, this one is Yud Lil. So he is causing them, even in their translation says, causes, you see the word causes, but causes not to err, causes to be deceived. So why this God, he want to cause me to be deceived. And then this God, he want to punish me for being deceived when he is the one who caused me to be deceived. Let us see Sahih International. Huh? Sahih International. It's very Sahih. Who's ever Allah sent astray? Why Allah sending the people astray? I thought the one who sent people astray is Shaitan. Last Sunday, Christians were again persecuted in Indonesia. My friend, we will return the favor of the Muhammadan in Indonesia by beating and spanking Muhammad with no mercy. God is watching, my friend. God is watching and doing too. Don't you see? Turkey was shaking from corner to corner and Aya Sophia is standing. Praise the Lord. God is real, my friend, our God. Any Muslim? Aya Sophia is a church build. I mean, there is no earthquake uh, uh, engineering, and there is no, and it's made from rocks, which make it very easy to collapse. All those buildings made it from concrete, they are in the floor. People, they seek their destruction. They think God is asleep. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Would like to tell us why Allah He sent people astray. And then the verse after it, they ask Muhammad about the judgment. They what Allah He says. They ask you, O Muhammad, about the hour. When is the arrival? Say it's the knowledge of my Lord. How it is the knowledge of my Lord? And you just said two verses before that you do not know even if their end is soon. We are not talking about 10,000 years from now. We are talking about people who they are alive in the time of Muhammad and Allah do not know if their time is soon or not. This is what happened when you have a crab building codes. No, my friend, there is no building code in the world can save you from the penalty of God. Trust me. What building code? You can be smart in your building as much as you want. As long as you are using concrete, just one degree more, the whole country will collapse. This is not about building code. We, we, we just mentioned there is many places like in Antioch. Antioch. The most old churches in Antioch, they are standing. 
they are built from the time of the disciples. They don't have building code, and they are there standing all those centuries. Do we have any Muhammadan have the courage and the knowledge? Allah is real to who? Anyone? How an atheist tested? You cannot test an atheist. Just give him a banana. He will test the banana. And he will prove to you that he is originally a monkey. And this is a true. All a human being, they like banana. And this is a proving that we used to be apes in one according, uh, one upon the time. I mean, I, you see, atheists and, and Muslims, they are the same. But they have the opposite story. According to the Quran, Allah, he punished people. He made them pigs and monkeys. According to the atheist, we used to be pigs and monkeys became a human. I don't know why people don't have red ass. Maybe they polish it. Maybe because of the shampoo or something. You know, atheist. Atheist are you know, atheist is just a a, a symptom of clear, a clear and obvious stupidity. This is what uh, uh, atheism is about. And their logic is not even based on science. You know, when they say science, like you know. You read an article that says 700,000 years ago. Like, okay, how you get the date exactly? Oh, by the computer. How the computer can measure the date? Oh, we measured the carbon. Okay, what if the carbon was faster at that time from now? How you can guarantee that the carbon was uh, functioning or oh, uranium was functioning the same way before? There's no guarantee. All of this is a, is, a, is not a, this is not a science. We can measure how old the ocean by measuring how much salt. Like, well, how do you measure that? Well, every year the rain will take extra salt from the earth. How do you know that? I mean, what can you calculate? Who in the world can calculate such a number? It's impossible. Like, do the whole earth have the same equal amount of salt? So when the rain comes, will bring the same amount from everywhere? It's silly, it's a stupid, it's not even scientific, but they call it science. I mean myself, by the way, I cannot debate atheist. Once, uh, you know, an atheist, he said to me, Christian Prince, you like banana? I made a mistake, I said yes. He said, see? Darwin was right. And then we found that Darwin, he stole his book from other atheists. Darwin... I mean, look at the ethic of atheism. The same as Muhammad. Muhammad, he steals all his stories from somebody else. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to would like to call us? Anyone? Or you 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 watch a video of Lili Dawa. Lili Dawa, he got two Muslims. And supposedly they are atheists. I mean, have you ever heard of two atheists? What 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 a what a movie? What a movie, what a show. Two atheists sitting turning their back to Lili Dawa. They say to Dali Dawa, are you ready? He said to them, Are you ready? Look, look how look how firm he is. And then he wanna to prove to them that God is exist by saying, Okay, the internet need computer, the computer need the uh, electricity, electricity need the uh, you know. A generator, you know, etc. And this will stop with Bean who made all those things. This is how you prove that our God is exist. Because if we if we if we use this method, then this method should not stop with Allah because Allah Himself is part of the method. If everything needs somebody depend on someone else, then why you stop with Allah? Same time, when a Muslim he tried to prove to an atheist, like you know, you see Zakir Naik speaking to atheist. So how he convert he convinced him that Allah is a true God. He said to him, Brother Sitar, a person, your friend, his name is Don. And Don said, I'm going to the hospital to deliver a baby. What you are going to say to Don? What? John is going to deliver a baby? 
You are going to love a John. Because John, he cannot deliver a baby. Like, what the heck would this have to do with God? You know? I mean, even, even their logic, and it's beyond stupidity. Adam proved that God is exist because I say there's a maker. I proved that God is exist, in my opinion, because a very, very simple way. All the creation, they share the same fingerprint or signature. That make it one a creator. Otherwise, if we say everything depends in something else, we cannot stop anywhere. Because this is the method you use, and everything is you know, depend in this, and that is depend on that. And then, okay, and then how we want to stop with this person, you call him Allah. Allah, obviously, he depends in someone else, and we can prove it from the Quran. The Quran says that Allah, he depends on someone else for things to happen. And already we gave you many verses. Actually, if you read here with me the Quran, the, the first chapter in the Quran, it says in the name of Allah. Okay, who is the one who's talking? The Muhammad and they say Allah. How Allah is talking, he say in the name of Allah. That means there's more, more than one Allah. Allah, the one who's talking, is speaking about other Allah, saying I am in the name of Allah. So he is maybe the same as a human. He's a human or a kind of, uh, like they say, Allah is a kind of a race. And the one of that race came to Muhammad and said to, not Muhammad, he never even spoke to Muhammad. He told Jibreel to go and tell Muhammad, uh, tell him I told you in the name of Allah but if you are Allah you don't say in the name of Allah then Allah he says a praise be to Allah have you ever heard of such a stupid thing how you are Allah and then you are saying praise be to Allah that's mean there's other Allah hmm Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Mayday, mayday. Who is Allah? They don't know. Why Muhammad never spoke to Allah? They don't know. I mean, this Allah, he spoke even to Shaitan. He spoke to Adam. But he didn't want to speak to Muhammad. What is the reason? And then what you find, you find that this religion teach that Satan is a Muslim and he prays Allah. And Satan in Islam is a victim of Allah too. Have you ever heard of such an ideology like this? What kind of God he deceives Satan just for fun? Read with me. I'm not making things up. And look, look, you know, guys, look at the Muslim translation. Look. Uh, if you go and search the word Gawin in the Quran, you will see Gawin translated as a criminals, bad people, disgusting, evil. So here the word Gawaitani, uh, the Muslim translated as what? You throw me out of the way? Why you are lying? Let us change the translator. Who is this idiot? This is Khattab. Let us see Sahih International. Hmm. Satan said, because you have put me in error. <laughs> hey people, do you see it? Who is the one who calls Shaitan? And this is false translation again. False translation. What put me in error? The Muslim, they are trying to duct tape their God. As you see, we just changed the translator. The one before it, it says, throw me away. This translation says, put me in error. Third translation will say, say what?
even shaitan in Islam is a victim of Allah. And I'm not saying that. This is what the Quran is saying. قَالَ فَبِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي لَأَقْعُدُنَّ لَهُمْ نَصْرَاتُكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ فَبِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي لَأَقْعُدُنَّ Which is funny. أَقْعُدَنَّ You know, the, the Arabic is broken. لَهُمْ صِرَاتَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ What does that mean? I mean, this is the most stupid statement. What... Hey Muslims, can you can anybody tell me how that uh, how this sentence in Arabic work? I will wait for them in your straight way. How that okay? What I will set for them in the straight way. Have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? In Arabic is even more disgusting. I mean, and, and like we are trying to make it work as a translation. So Allah He caused Shaitan to be deceived, and then Allah want to punish Shaitan for being deceived. That's deep. Look at the translation. Look, I just changed the translator. As you have consigned me to perversity. What the heck? I, I, I want to see what perversity mean. I, I'm not sure what the word mean in English. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, okay. A deliberate desire to behave in responsible or unacceptable way. <laughs> Bad boy, bad boy. So the Muslim in the translation, they are saying, Shaitan saying to Allah, you made me a bad boy. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at the madness of the translation of the Muslim. We just change the translator and we find a new book. Are a Christian allowed to call? My friend, we want Abdul to call us. What I want to do with you as a Christian? You want to agree with me? I don't want that. This is what Muslims do. Two Muslims hold the microphone and they start bashing Christianity. No, we want the Muslim to call, try to defend. Okay? We don't want to hear two uh, people uh, doing monologue. Oh, yeah, they are bad. Yeah, I agree with you. What the point? There's no point. Each time... We, tr we change the translator, we have a new Quran. Have nothing to do with the previous Quran. And the funny, the Muhammadan, they say, we preserve the Quran. Look how preserved it is. Any Muhammadan? And then a poor Abdul, he tried to prove the Quran is from God because Muhammad have no miracles. Even the Quran witness for that. So what they do? Brother, if we divide 17 into 7, and then we divide them and we add 5, and then we take 6, and then we add 2, and then we minus 5, and then we will find equal number. Subhanallah, this is Quran must be from God. Like, what the heck? What is the big difference between different sect? No, there is no, there is no difference between different sect in Islam. All of them, they are stupid. It's just like which direction you piss and who is your god. So the Shia, they worship Ali and his family. They believe they are stars, five stars in the forehead of Allah. And the Muslims, they worship Muhammad and the companion like Abu Bakr and Umar. You know the terrorist, so it's uh, you know it's just a part. Of Islam is a political uh, agenda. Have nothing to do with God and religion. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Would like to say anything? And I want to warn you that Allah is real. Okay. And if you don't believe me, 
Look what this guy, he said to his wife. <clears throat> I'm just letting you know. Those things can happen only in Islam. Any Muhammadan? My Skype is open. Zero Muhammadan would like to call us. What we should do? Is Islam is a monotheist belief? Well, this is what they say, but my friend, who cares if you are monotheist or not? People, there is there is a temple in San Francisco. It's called the Temple of Satan. They worship one God. His name is Satan. So, it's very silly, very stupid argument to think you are right because you worship one God. You know, the Hindus, according to Sad Guru, and he is sad for sure, he said that the Hindus have 35 million God. I don't reject them because they are 35 million. I reject them because they are false gods. But what if they are true? Then they are. The number doesn't make any difference. You know? So the monotheism, the Muslim, they think they have a point of being mono or claiming to be monotheist. That is a silly point. Because you have an idiot God who think the earth is a flat. Women have a sperm coming from her ribs and the sperm of the man coming from her backbone. Oh, my backbone is hurting me, man, guys. And I, there's no sperm these days. You know, I went to the doctor and I asked him, hey, you know, there's no sperm. You know, he said to me, open your mouth. Like, what the heck? I opened my mouth. He said, okay, well, that's normal. You know, I said, how you know from my mouth that's uh, the normal? He said, I'm a Muslim doctor. <laughs> Allah, he said that the sperm come from the brain. <laughs> yeah. Once I was debating a Muhammad and he want to get me busted. So he was, he, he mentioned Al-Ghazali. He is the top, like when the Western, they were stupid. He is a scientist. I go and I went, so we went to Al-Ghazali. And Al-Ghazali says the sperm, according to Allah, come from the brain. Al-Ghazali is fixing duct tape in Muhammad. Stupidity. So the Quran say rips. Al Ghazali say no, no, no. A taraib not only rips, it can be the brain. And actually, he said the proof that it is the brain that the baby, when he is born, he come and he is curtailing like a cell of a brain. When you look at the brain, it looked like a baby. So the guy got the conclusion that the sperm came from the brain, and that makes sense. I mean, men, most of their thinking is about sex. Sex world. Do we have any Muhammadan can brave to us? No, I mean this is this is Islam's silly, stupid religion. <clears throat> Anyone? Allah is God, you know, but he thinks that the earth go, uh, you know, the sun goes around the earth. What the heck? You know. And the sun set in the murky water, hot boiling water. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? My Skype is open, zero Muslim. You are spreading evil? My friend, why you are saying that? Okay, by saying that, you made me Allah. Sapwan. Sapwan, why your name is Sapwan? What the heck is that? Is that because of a food you are eating or this is like a drugs effect? So Sapwan saying, you are spreading evil. According to Islam, nobody can do anything without permission of Allah. I challenge you to say this is not a true. Not only that, it's a destiny of Allah. 
So when you say to somebody and you are a Muslim, you are spreading evil, you are giving a finger to Allah, proving him to be false God, because you are saying, I have a free will. And that means that Muhammad and his God are liars. You don't go and love the speaker in Iran. Why I want to go to Iran, my friend? Iran come to me. I'm a very spoiled person. Honestly, I you know I have a okay, I will tell you what I have. In my fridge, I have six eggs. Uh some cheese and bread and yogurt. Okay. Do they have that in Iran? They don't go and see people they are selling their liver to live so why i want to go to iran so i will be angry and i will die what is next you will say to me go to turkey why do we go to turkey they are even stealing the liver of the dead man people die they go to the hospital they put them in the freezer second day they find them without liver without heart this is how ethical Erdogan party is they are making a lot of money even from the dead people Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us and tell us? Okay, let's go. Let us go to the web, Muslim website because I like this website actually. I find this website is a very uh, certain, 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 certain tific. Mm. <clears throat> and look how the Muslim they present history. Look, look. For the Arab, the pagan Arab worship was due to idols false. You know, the pagan Arab, they worship Allah. And this is why the Quran called them Mushrikeen. Do you see how they lie? They say they worship idols. And that's it. They want to they don't want to add the idol of Allah. Yes, they worship idols, but why why don't mention the idol of Allah? Made of stone, wood, gold, and silver. Okay, what Allah is made of, Muslims? Any Muhammadan can tell us what Allah is made of? Anyone? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Call me and I will give you Betty four. And you will have a drink with me. And Allah will give you a virgin. Hello. If you call me, Allah will reward you. And he will send you the best barbecue. And girls will be naked dancing around you. Hello. Don't you want the reward of Allah? You can call me and say, Smash Allah. And when you lose, you can say, You did beat me. And the Muslims will shout, Takbir for you. Hello. I mean, the Muslims, they debate people. They lose the debate and then they claim victory. I never saw a Muslim losing, by the way. I mean, even they attack Israel every few years. And then Israel beat the hell of them and take more land. And then they celebrate the victory. Can you believe it? Go check the history of Israel and the Arab Muslims. Every single war they lost, even 1973, they claim they have victory. And they celebrate victory. They lost Jerusalem, they celebrate victory. What the heck? Anyone? Can you make Zachary Naik sing? Zachary Naik don't sing. Zachary Naik is not born for singing. Zachary Naik is born for wisdom. You know? Yep. I don't know. I don't think you can You can even make Zachary Naik sing. Christian Prince, by the way, you are mistaken. I think when I'm in the bathroom. What the heck? Zachary, what, what do you sing, really? Christian Prince, by the way, have you ever heard me in the bathroom thinking? 
Uh, no, I don't think you are. And, uh, so really, you sing in the bathroom? What do you say? I will tell you what I say. May Allah create you. May Allah kill you. May Allah destroy you. And may Allah make you barbecue. Here we go. This is my song. Zachar, this is a very romantic song. It's Islamic, brother. <laughs> what a whiz, dumb. Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to call me and try his luck with me? You will win. Allah is in your side, my friend. What are you talking about? So the pagan Arab, okay, as for the Christian then, it was well known that they believe in God. That's deep. Yet their belief was extended to the son oof, 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 of God and the Holy Ghost. He Muslim, by the way, how how you say our belief extend to the Holy Ghost and why it's called holy? <laughs> he Muslims, why it is holy? If it's not God, if that is not God, if there is anyone beside God is holy. I mean, you see the stupidest religion. If we go in the Quran, you will find the Quran saying a Ruh al Qudus, which means the Holy Ghost. Okay. If there is anyone beside Allah is holy, Muslims. <laughs> no. So, how it's called the Holy Spirit? What a stupid religion, man. I mean, you see, we can make you shish kebab in two seconds. So you believe in one holy person. And yet, there is a person in your Quran, his name is the Holy Spirit. That's deep. And look at this false translation here, by the way. Pure spirit. Look, look at the look at the fallacy of this religion. You change the translator. This is Sahih International, pure spirit. I mean Arabic, it says Al Qudus. Anyone knows who knows a little Arabic, he knew what Al Qudus mean. Let us change the translator. Hilali and Khan. You see, we did not change the book, we changed the translator only. Let us see what will happen. What the heck? And look. Ruh al Qudus here is not translated. It, it be, between two brackets is Jibreel. Okay, how in the world this Ruh al Qudus became Jibreel? What a crazy religion. Do we have any Muhammadan? Did you see the video of uh, David Wood and Ahmed? I don't know. I don't watch David Wood videos. The only video I like about David Wood is uh, the, the cat video. The rest, I don't like them. They don't know how to debate with Muslims. Many Christians, they do not know. You see, until now, the Christian did not learn that when you debate with Muslim, you are not debating a Muslim. You are trying to bust him. Because you cannot debate a liar. No, there's nobody can debate a liar. Because he will deny anything. Debate can happen only between two honest people say what they believe. So when you speak with the Muhammadan, the first thing you should assume that he is lying, not the opposite. And the longer the beard is, the bigger the liar will be. So, because the Christians, many of them, they are, you know, they think people are like them, you know. So, I'm believing in God, he believes in God, so we are believers. And both of us, we are seeking uh, honesty. That's not true. Islam teach you can lie, unlimited lies, as long as you are defending your religion. Even you can take false oath in the name of their God, as long you didn't mean it. This is why I don't like, you know, when David Wood debate David Wood, he don't, uh, you know, he don't go harsh on them. He gets so nice. Uh, he is so soft. Uh, he, he don't know how to debate. He can maybe do good with someone who's an atheist. You know, those guys, they like philosophy and, you know, this, which is very weird, you know.
Hey, my friend David Wood did not even debate Uthman. When he debated Uthman, he went to his tent and they start talking about philosophy. Give me a break. It was the most stupid visit ever those guys they did. They went there, they made the guy famous for nothing. They did not debate him. They did not make one statement about anything. Even when he said to them the hadith is not as uh, sahih, they could not even find the hadith in the phone. Then you go home and then you find it. They didn't know how to debate. Those guys, they make Muslim famous. Mimi Hijab is famous because of David Wood. Uh, very simple. Those are street boys, they get rich because they get rich literally. When I say rich, I mean it. They got rich literally because of David Wood. You don't know how to debate. I mean, this guy Mimi Hijab, he made the he made the biggest poo poo ever in the debate, and he uh, and David Wood got the opportunity to wipe the floor with him. Isn't it Mimi Hijab? He said to him, "Not a single Jew, not a single Jew, believe that God have a son." Why you don't treat for him the verse in the Quran? The Quran says the Jews believe that Uzair son of Allah. Anyway, do we have any brave Muhammadan? I'm jealous of Mimi Hijja. Yeah, actually, I want to go and do striptease in front of the Turkish embassy. <laughs> the striptease boys who, who take hair, he, he shaved the hair of his chest. I mean, you see in the Middle East, if a man he do that, I'm not going to say, you know, what is what does that mean? When a man, he shave his hair in the Middle East, he is a boy, you know, but in the bad way, you know, very bad way. So he have tons of videos of himself because this guy, he liked to show his chest and he's very fat. And, you know, I mean, he claimed that he's strong. But anyway, uh, and then when he went, okay, I'm going to strike in the front of the embassy. Why am I taking off my T-shirt? What is the what is the point? And then he take it off, doing striptease, and he shave all his chest. No, I'm not sure. You know, I have I I have a wood in my chest. Not only here. Once they kicked me out from the the, the swimming pool. The guy, he said to me, "Sir, you cannot swim in the swimming pool with your clothing." I said, "This is my hair, man." He thought I'm wearing a coat or something, a bear coat. Hmm. Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan? This is how you know that people, they are trying to do show. You know, you go in the front of the embassy, you take off your clothes. And what does that mean? You know, what is that exactly? Uh, did you do anything? At least knock at the door. What about you go and do knock at the door? What about you try to do something? So what does that mean? You know, showing me your t-shirt. Why you don't take all your pants? Very, you know, very silly, very stupid. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Hmm? And here we go. The, the Muslim leaders, they invited the president of China. Not a single one said no. They come like puppies to meet him. Why the Muslim don't go in London and take off their T-shirt and their panties? Strike against that. They don't dare. In Saudi Arabia. In the heart of Saudi Arabia. The, the, the Chinese president... He was invited by the Saudi and who was waiting for him? The president of Egypt, the king of Morocco, the prime minister of uh, 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 Emirat, Bahrain, Kuwait, uh, Jordan, uh, you know, I mean, who's left? Pakistan, Indonesia. Well, I think Indonesia did not come later. Yeah. And the funny is, you will find that the Western countries have sanctions to protect the Muslims. Hmm. 
sanctions on China, right? What is the excuse? The Muslims, not the Christians. And not a single Muslim country have sanctions on China. Do you see the stupidity? Muslim president, kings, princes, they came from around the world like puppies, kissing the butt of the Chinese president, the communist, seeking his protection. Where is Mimi Hijab taking off his, his panty? <laughs> anyway, we did not see even one Muslim making a comment about it. Because they are cowards. They knew if they make a comment against it, they will not be able to go to those countries no more. That's the truth. They don't dare. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us live on air? May they, may they, may they, may they. We need a Muslim who is smart. I know this is very hard to find, but we are hoping that Allah can make one. Anyone? Say he is Allah who is one. <laughs> Say Allah. <laughs> and now the Muslims are trying to introduce their God to you. They say Allah is one. <laughs> one what? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, Muhammad, Muhammad, don't you notice that the sentence is missing something? I never heard of somebody saying, say he is one. One what? Shouldn't like if you say you're God, that will make it okay. He's one God, maybe, but say he is Allah, he is one. Okay, who, who, who is one? There is something missing in the sentence. This is what kind of Arabic, what kind of English is that? Is Allah simply the Arabic term for the word God? Lousley translated, yes, however, uh, look, look, look at the deep language. Mm. Oh, no, no. The meaning one, only one to be worshipped. This is what Allah means, Muslims. What the big fat liars. Allah means the one to be worshipped. Are you sure? Okay, where do you get this one from? Allah as a word is exist long before Islam and used by those who worship the moon. It's not even Allah, it is Al Lah. Al is a word mean God. La is the name of the God. Furthermore, the word Allah contains a depth that make it incomparable. What the heck? So how Allah he compare himself to a tree? Is it Allah? He say he is the same as a tree? And compare his light to the light in a niche. Let us go to the Quran. Let us go. Hmm. One of the things Muslims they say to us, they are copying the Old Testament where it says nothing like God, but as usual, Muhammad he make his own poopoo -poo recipe. This is the Quran. How Allah is, you know, nothing like Allah, but all of this Allah described Himself to be the like of those things, and they are things. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth, the parable of His light. Remember, nothing like Allah. Nothing like Allah, but we say the parable of his light. 
Okay, if there's anything like the light of Allah, no. Okay, if there's a parable of his light. In Arabic, actually, it doesn't say even say a, a, a parable. Uh, uh, it says method, like, like the likeness, the likeness of his light is like a niche and within it a lamp and the lamp in the glass and the glass it were a brilliant star light from blessed tree of olive how that can be the same as Allah hey tree worshippers how that is the similar how what is the similarity between Allah and the lamp and the olive uh, oil and the olive tree and the and the and the niche and it's burning and they keep saying to us nothing like Allah turn to be Allah is the same as a tree and I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the likeness between this and Allah how? Hey, sub one, take a hike, buddy. I don't have time for kids. Take care. We don't like our channel, just get lost. And no, go cry to your mom. Anyone can tell me? You see? He is not talking about like wisdom, like metaphorical things. No, he's talking about a tree. Tree is a physical thing. Niche is a physical thing. Burning fire is a is a physical thing. Olive oil. What is the fuel? Is olive oil. So what is the similarity between them? Any Muslim can tell us. What we learn from this? Is Allah is in is a light in a niche? Any Muhammadan? Is Allah his light is the same as he described here? He is a light in a niche. Within it a lamp, and the lamp is in is Allah is inside a container. And is that how brilliant stars shine? Because he's inside the lamp? How this can be from God? And yet they say to us, nothing like Allah. So if I say niche, I mean Allah. If I say glass, I say Allah. If I say a lamp, I say Allah. If I say tree, I say Allah. If I say olive, I mean Allah. All of those, they present Allah. Yet they say to us, nothing like Allah. Until now, we have zero Muhammadan trying to contact us. Remember, nothing like Allah. Nothing like Allah. He's unique, brother. The most awkward God. Allah is everywhere. <laughs> that is funny. Just ask a Muslim, is Allah in the bathroom? He will say, no. <laughs> what do you mean Allah is everywhere? My friend, Allah is not anywhere. Allah is not here. Allah, he come every third of part of the night. So he can hear the Muslims' prayer. Don't you know that? If Allah is everywhere, he do not need to come down to the lowest heaven as Muhammad he said. He's already everywhere. So that is a false claim. Allah is not everywhere. Allah is a physical being, and Muhammad confirmed that many times. And he descended physically every night at the third part of the night which is very stupid because what third part of the night 
Do we have a one time zoom? Muhammad, do you think? When it's night in Mecca, it's night everywhere. Read it. Any Muhammadan? Why Allah he go down every night? Is that because of necessity or because of ability? If it's because of ability, that means the whole statement Muhammad said is stupid. Because he said he come down for a reason. He come down in the third part of the night to the lowest heaven saying who is praying for me. So if he is coming down of a necessity, that means Allah is limited. And here we have a bigger problem. Allah descend every night to the lowest heaven. That means Allah is moving inside his creation. And that means everything the Muslim they say to us about their God is false. Why the Muslim they say, what, what is the problem with Jesus being God? They say Jesus, flesh of Jesus. Isn't it a creation? Isn't it the flesh a creation? So how God can be inside his creation? Well, here it doesn't matter really now. If Allah is inside the sky, the sky is his creation too. The sky is a flesh. Different form of a flesh. So Allah, he come down every day, every night, in the th which is proving Muhammad to be an idiot. He do not know that this is going to be true. Because if this is the case, that means Allah, he cannot even go up. But he descend every night, obviously because of necessity. He cannot hear your prayer if he is in the seventh heaven. So he have to go down in order to hear you. So if Allah is almighty, he do not need to come down. Do we have any Muhammadan? And look how many problems this story Muhammad he mentioned, and this is a very authentic hadith, that Allah he descend. Take a note. What descend mean? What descend mean? That mean Allah physically moving from point A to point whatever. And mean he is coming down. He is coming down. So Allah is above. Okay, above where? A Muslim, Allah is above where? What do you mean above? If you look right now at, uh, at, at, the, at, at the earth, the earth is like a ball. And what is above now is, I mean, what is above now? What is above mean? The earth isn't a flat. So he descend from where from above? Okay, where he was? Above. Okay, but there is no above. And he descend every day, every night. Don't you feel bad for this God? He have to go and take a car every day and go down a spaceship and then he say, who is praying for me? And nobody can hear him. Why Allah saying those words if nobody can hear him anyway? Additional to that, who supplicate to me that I may answer him? Me? Answer him. Look at this joke. So what is the purpose of the journey? You supplicate, he listen, he may answer. Can't Allah, he listen, and may answer without moving his ass? 
And now Allah, he went down, he is going to go back. Hmm. And there is a bigger problem, actually, this hadith here uh, bring. Do you remember when Muhammad, he went to his God in the night journey? So Muhammad, he went all the way to the seven heaven. He did not meet Allah. But he went where Allah is. Okay. But if you read this story, you will find that the whole story is stupid then. Because when Muhammad, he went there, Allah was down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Muhammad, he went in a night journey. And this is the third part of the night. And this is the time Muhammad, he should be now in the seventh heaven. So Muhammad went to the seventh heaven. Allah gave Muhammad 50 prayer. But Allah was not in the seventh heaven. He was in the lowest heaven. This is what happened when you have a stupid man, he could open his mouth and he, you know, he make poo-poo. You know, in the Middle East, we have a tradition, if somebody want to get married, you know, your parents, they speak for you. You don't speak, you know. And if the, if the son is stupid, the parents, they will tell him, don't even talk. Anything they say, we will answer. Okay, don't answer anything because they knew he will make poo-poo. This is Muhammad. He cannot keep his mouth shut. He have to make poo-poo. So every night, he did not say like once a, night, once a week. No, no, every night. You see, this is not my words. It says, Allah don't even take a vacation, man. Every night. So if the year have a 365 days, Allah, he come down, up, down, up like a yo-yo. 365 times. An Uber driver. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? And then we find, like, you know, we mentioned Mimi Hijab and David Wood. David Wood, he says, Allah, he have body part. Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? I mean, don't you, maybe David Wood shouldn't say, uh, uh, you, uh, your prophet says so, your Quran says so, the Quran and Yuka say so, every single Muslim sheikh say so. You stand there like, tell him, raise a Quran and Yuka for him. In your phone, put the phone, microphone, search, Allah have hands, Allah have feet. Play it for him in the in the stage that everybody laugh at him. And then everybody will see that Muslims are a bunch of liars. They deny even the nature of their God. Just to make a mockery. You see, Muhammadan don't respect their God. When a person he deny the nature of his God, which is the belief of all Muslims. And then the Muslim. They clap, hey, we won the debate. Oh, no, but he, he won his line. He denied the nature of his God. What a bunch of losers. And then we did not see one Muslim making a video against what he said, because Muslims are hypocrites. They support each other even if they are lying. If I say something, doesn't say that, CP. And how they prove that the hadith I am showing in the screen is not uh, true? Okay, first of all, this hadith is reported by, uh, uh, hold on, let us uh, use the mark. And this is how it's supposed to they answer me. Yeah, yeah, he said, I say it from Malik, from Ibn Shihab, 
from Abi Abdullah, from Al Agar, from Abi Salma, from Abdul Rahman, from Abi Huraira, from the Messenger of Allah. Okay, Abi Abdullah. Everybody knows that he's a scumbag. Therefore, this hadith is not accepted. Like what the heck? And now they refuted me. The guy who never met those people, he knew that this guy is a scumbag, but those who exist in his time and they copy what he said, they do not know he is a scumbag. I mean, do you see the magic? Those who live with this guy, why do they want to take what he say if he's a scumbag? Doesn't make sense. So in order now to duct tape Muhammad, we will make one of them a scumbag. And that said, the hadith is not valid, but it says there's a Okay, sahih means, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me teach you Islam, my friend. We Muslim, when we say authentic, we mean it's bad. Oh, it says sahih. Even the name of the book is sahih. I mean, the name of the book is authentic, but the hadith is not authentic. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. We miss you, miss you, miss you. The Muslims, if you call me and you refute me, can you imagine the reward Allah will give you? Just imagine. But don't touch yourself, okay? Please. Can you imagine the reward Allah will give you? Eighty thousand little boys going naked around you, and they are very, very white. Uh, sorry, I have to say that because you know, if I say to a Muslim, imagine the reward of Allah, you know what will happen. <laughs> are you kidding me? Hello, oh boy. We cannot just say to them, just imagine, we have to make a stop, like stop sign, otherwise we will be in trouble. So imagine, brother, if you call me and you bring victory to Allah. Chapter, what has been related about the bounty or they are in the lowest inhabitants of paradise. Look, look at the floors, brother. The lowest, the lowest. I mean, even in heaven, there is a high floor, low floor, second floor, third floor. Hey, brother, which floor you are? And in the, uh, uh, the which one? In the fourth floor, my friend. What if you are Korean? In Korea, there's no fourth floor. Are you kidding me? You know, Allah will delete it. Don't worry. So anyway. The least of the people in paradise in the possession one with 80,000 servants who they are boys and 72 wives. I mean, hold on, hold on. I mean, why too much boys? And I mean, the number doesn't match. It match. I mean, okay, what about we make them 80,000 boys and 80,000 women? I mean, what are you losing, Muhammad? Just man, it's numbers. Talk is cheap. And why I need 80,000 little boys? What they would do exactly? They will make 80,000 sandwiches? What the heck is that? And then, brother, and then you will live in a tent. Here we go. Butchercraft in the heaven of Allah. Yesterday I was watching a video. I don't know, it wasn't, I don't know where, which country, maybe Japan. And there was a girl she is doing a, a camping guys the tent she have i mean this girl she have the furniture of the whole house microwave i mean she's just coming to camp for like a night you know uh, reclining chairs led lights uh, and even the, the the dinner was a crab big one a huge one i mean look how much suffering in this world my friend those people i mean that's bushcraft that's camping, camping, you know? And I was saying, man, this is better than my house. 
unbelievable anyway I think this is what will happen to us in the heaven of Allah a tent made of pearl and bredot and cardamom set up for him brother Corundum, 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 Corundum. What is that, Corundum? I don't know what that word in English. I know the word in Arabic. It says here in Arabic, Lu'lu uh, was a barjad wa yaqut. But Corundum, Corundum, it sounds like uh, Japanese. Corundum, you know, something like that. Set up for him the size of which, like between Al Jabia and Sana'a. Imagine, guys. All the way from Damascus to Yemen, the capital of Yemen. This is the size of your tent. How small? How small? How disgusting? Okay, what is the bathroom? Christian Prince, there's no bathroom in. <laughs> I mean, why the tent is so big? Any Muslim can tell me why it's so big? Hmm? Oh, for God, there is 80,000 boys, hello. But even 80,000 boys, I mean, from Damascus all the way to the capital of Yemen, we can put 300 million, 400 million inhabitants, not 80,000. Those in the size of like five, six countries. From Damascus to Yemen, there is uh, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, uh, Israel. Uh, what else? And then, you know, we arrive to Yemen, maybe. All of those countries is just to put a guy with his wives having sex, and all of it is made from pearl. Hmm. Oh boy! <clears throat> do we have any Mohammedan? Sorry, guys, you are not inviting any Muslims. What we can do? But there is no Muslims to call us, and you know that's it. They decide uh, because they knew they would win anyway. So why they want to call? I mean, come on, you know, they knew they would win. They knew they can they can make it easy. Mm -hmm. And look, and brother, in the heaven, if you die old or young, doesn't matter. Allah will make you thirty years old when you enter heaven. Who? Why is that? Look, look, look. The prophet saw.com that he said, whoever of the people destined to enter, it's a destiny, as you remember. There's no, it's not about salvation. This is destiny. Paradise dies young or old. They shall be brought back in paradise 30 years old. Okay, women, they don't like it 30 years old. I mean, this is not a good, uh, this is for the men only. What about the women? So you die, you are one month old. You enter paradise, you are 30 years old. What an have agreed, man. Hey, everybody in paradise have the same age. The same face, the same look, the same name, Abdul. And all the women in paradise, the Hur, not the Muslim women, the Hur, all of them, they look the same. They have the same eyes, the same skin, the same height, the same face, everything the same, even the same, the same song. Imagine you go to a dating website and you, you click at the profile at the first girl. Her name is Jamila. Okay, second girl. Her name is Jamila. Third girl. Her name is Jamila. Fourth girl. Her name is Jamila. Okay, let's go to the first one. She is in the same age. Second Jamila. Same age. Third Jamila. Same age. Okay, let's go and see the picture. Same picture. First Jamila look the same as the second Jamila. Second Jamila look the same as the third Jamila. Third Jamila look the same as the fourth Jamila. I mean, what a beautiful heaven, my friend. And here you ask yourself, what the point of having all those women if all of them look the same? Hmm? 
Like you go to the balcony, if your tent, you find uh, 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 your wife waiting there. She looked the same as the wife is inside. <laughs> what a crazy relationship. And then the same for the Muhammad. And all of them, they look the same. All of them, they have, they are 60 foot tall. Actually, uh, as usual, Muhammad, he, he cannot keep, repeat his lie twice without adding numbers. So one hadith says he will be 90 mile tall. The women will be 30 mile tall. Different hadith, they will be 60 cubit tall. Depend in the, you know, how tall the, uh, the lie of Muhammad. <coughs> hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? And look, look at the description. They will increase in whatever, and likewise the people of fire <laughs> with this chain. Okay, it's narrated from the Prophet of Allah, he said. There are upon them crowns. The least of it is pearl would eliminate what is between the east and the west. I have to order some uh, wilderness glasses when I go to the heaven of Allah. What? Why the crown will be so shiny? People will go blind. I mean, how they can look at each other? Look how shiny it is, man. It's eliminate the earth, the east and the west. Don't tell the Chinese. They will copy it and sell it in the market. Copyright is not valid for them in China. Okay, let us see something else. Any any Mohammedan here have something to prove to us? Look, all, all those things prove Allah to be God, you know, by the way. I mean, look, who can make those stories save Allah? Nobody. Any Muhammadan? Oh, 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 what we can do? Bad boys, bad boys. Okay. No Muhammadan? Let us see another article about Allah. Hold on. As long as there is no Muhammadan. Yeah, this is a long article, which is saying nothing. Okay. <clears throat> the case of Allah existence. <laughs> Man, that's deep. Yeah. How we know that Allah is exist? Look, look, this is a different method now. Look at this guy. Appealing to the heart, intuition, and experience. Natural, instance, fitrah, Allah. Okay, hold on, Muslims, if we talk about fitrah, you know, there's one one of the funny things about Islam that the Muslim they keep repeating words in Arabic and the words they are really horrible. Do you know what fitra mean? Fitra when somebody he is nursed, and then uh, when in he is in a certain age, his mother she stopped giving him uh, milk. So he grow, he grow, every one of us, he grow in a certain way, which is uh, from a childhood. And they are saying to you that when you are a child, in the time of nursing, or you are a Muslim, and this is fitrah, but this is the time where a person, a human being is so ignorant, so stupid to the point if you put a child next to dirt, he will grab it, put it in his mouth. He will touch the fire. So how that you know uh, how that can be the instinct, uh, the instinct, uh, uh, instinct to know Allah. 
very stupid. And then if we ask the Muslims, let us see the description. Human beings sense the existence of God or what they perceive as a higher power by power instinct. Let's say, hold on. So, so if this is the case, that means the one who worship the Hindus, they are using the same instinct. The Buddhists, the Christians, the Jews, the, you know, all, whatever religion. What does this have to do with God? And then they say to you, with, with or without for, uh, uh, prophetic revelation to guide them, expression of this sense. Okay, what? Have you ever heard of somebody as a child, he believe in God? Have you ever heard of somebody as an infant, he know God? How that is being, how, how that can be? The Muslim, they copy words from Arabic, and those words don't match what they are trying to say to us. Let me show you what Muhammad, he said in the hadith, because the one who read the article, obviously he's an idiot, he did not know what he, how to explain it. This is the fitrah. Just to show you the stupidity of Muhammad. Allah Messenger says, five practice are the, the, the character of fitra. Circumcision. What? How that is the fitra? <clears throat> are, you born, are you born with it? Are you born with it? No. Was Muhammad being circumcised? No. So Muhammad don't himself don't have the first thing of the fitrah. Shaving the pubic, pubic the, the kid, we know the kid, this is for kids. How fitrah, how he is an infant and he is shaving his pubic. He is a baby. So how this is can be fitrah? Just to connect the two statements together, I will show you a different hadith. So you can understand what I'm saying. Just to show you that this is about a baby, because Muslim, they might say, this is not about baby. Read carefully. This is about the fitrah. And the fitrah word is there. Here we go, in Arabic, in the front of us. Every baby will be born on the fitrah. Read it in English too. No, no baby, but upon fitrah. Born, what? Born upon fitrah. So how he is a baby and he is shaving his pubic area. Do you see why we laugh at Muhammad? And how this guy, he is so confused even about definition he's trying to give to his own religion? So is this fitra is for babies or for someone he have a mustache and beard around his penis? So if you compare this, this is about fitra. But this is about shaving the pubic area. Circumcision, shaving the pubic area. Uh, clipping the nails and cutting the mustache. I thought I am born as a baby with the fitra already. That means I do not need circumcision because I'm born with it. Uh, guys, you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand this, this, this stupid statement? Either it is for somebody, the fitra is meant for someone is adult, mature. He have a beard, mustache, a pubic hair. And those five things, as he said. Or we are born with it as babies and we have it already. It cannot be both. Because if we have it already, 
then why we need to shave a pubic area to have Petra? And then Muhammad here, he make a bigger poo, poo He says, it is his parents who make him a Jew or a Christian or a polytheist. But this is totally the opposite of Muhammad said. Muhammad, he said, it's a destiny. It is the will of Allah what you will be. It's not you because you are born of a family. Because based on this, based on this, Muhammad himself is a, a child of polytheist. Based on this, Muhammad is what? Is polytheist. So Muhammad himself, he got himself busted again. He is not a monotheist. For he is, he is born upon fitra, which means as a baby, naturally, as a Muslim. Then his parents are what? Are pagans. So Muhammad is what? Pagan. When Muhammad became a Muslim, at the age of 40 supposedly so for 40 years Muhammad is practicing what his parents made him of and the proof is in the front of you was Muhammad wrong Muslims he just said it in front of you you are born as a Muslim then Muhammad became an apostate because his parents made him a polytheist but by the way, being a Muslim is very polytheist. Have nothing to do with monotheism. Because Islam is based on worship in Muhammad. And Allah is the servant of Muhammad. Everything in Islam is centered in one name. This is why you see the Muslim, they will kill you. If you insult Muhammad, but nobody will kill you if you insult Allah. They are pagan human being worshippers. And in uh, for fun, they kiss the black stone to worship Muhammad. Any Abdul? All right, guys, look like we don't have many people here. And... Uh, you see, you guys are not uh, sharing the, the links for my videos, and we are not having, I don't know, I mean, people are weird. We just uh, changed the channel, and then people do not know how to come. I mean, we have like a, a hundred thousand something in that channel. We just uh, changed, and even I made a video says, guys, I will be in that channel. Still, they don't know how to come. I don't know what to say. Weird. Look like uh, Muhammad, he have uh, his effect, side effect. So try to share so people will get more and view and then they come back, you know, otherwise you will make me come every every few days, not only, not every day as before. But I need to see that my work is going for good benefit, you know, many people watching it. I just see the view doesn't mean anything really, except that people are really doing their part. Uh, we, we know, we don't, we don't have advertising here, we don't have the... Uh, super chat we don't have any of that so if we 1000 saw it or 10 or 50 or 60 it doesn't change anything for me all right uh, and feel free to invite your friends to join and tell Muslims if they dare to call us I will be happy to take them for a snack and I hope we have a good time today. I think it's enough for, for tonight. I give you too much headache and you guys don't deserve it. And let us hope that Allah is real. He is very real, brother. I like this picture, you know? I mean, the one who made this picture, he must be like a, a genius. From the value of genie yes oh this is me who made the picture oh okay that's me then okay fear allah women he is real 
Oh, honey, he is real like us. What the heck? Well, he is real like us. Absolutely. Take it or leave it. Thank you all for being here. And today we spend some time with the unreal Allah, who no Muslim can prove his existence for a very simple reason. He does not exist. He is just a scam. And a fraud. And we prove it every day. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every time we go live. Take care.